Alright y'all guys, so Welcome back to another video y'all guys So recently they Boost released a Video revealing the release date of Ruby Elf Arrowfell And I'm gonna see and I heard this game is also gonna be for PC as well alongside consoles So I'm gonna try my best to get whatever version is available so yeah, talk to me for to react to this shit. Ah! And on top of that, it was made by WayForward. So yeah, same company behind Shantae and the River City Girls Tales, which I still haven't fucking finished to this very day. So, yeah. I'm gonna see if I could try to finish the River City Girls series. Because recently, River City Girls 0 and River City Girls 2 got released. Now, the River, the River City Girls 0 game is basically a international release of a 90s tile, basically. So, anyways, let's get back to the shit. And it says it's going to be rated E10+. Plus. I feel like a T rating would have been better. Because that's why I felt like Ruby would be suitable for it. To having a T rated. To, to having a T rating. Because most pieces of media, media I see Ruby being rated. I, I think I often, I often see Ruby being rated TV14 often. Often. Or something like that because it was made for older demographics so yeah let's do shit grim don't get much tougher than that i hope not <sighs> well i'm ready for a nap it's a good thing we were here i don't know how these people live so far from look out oh shit bro oh i'm hitting that panic button right now it's all part of the I... hunter's gig wait no wait sorry Oh, I'm hitting that panic um, button right now. I see that oh, it's gonna be a size part score, of the Huntress gig. And you're next, Buster! The graphics look pretty nice. You game. scared, Ruby? And here comes Grim. We're okay. For now. Looks pretty good as a Wait. size scroller. Well, and I can tell that you could actually What's with all the switch Grim? characters. What are they doing out here in the middle the of nowhere still? Members of the group. Never a dull moment. Yang! Grim incoming! We're ready. Licensed huntresses now, remember? That's risk versus reward, baby. Alright. Don't worry, I've got your back. We showed them! I like how they designed Team Ruby for this game. It looks pretty cool. So, yeah. And a reminder, I'm just hoping this video gets released, actually stays on YouTube because the last reaction video that I did was a My Dress Up Darling Season 2 announcement trailer, and that video got fucking copyrighted. That so take it down. I'm just hoping this one stays up. So, yeah. Go. Yeah, team! Ruby Arrowbell! Coming soon! Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was just funny as hell, bro. I see that the game is going to be for Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series consoles, and also PC, so yeah, I can see if I, I'll see if I get if I eat if I get the game for either Xbox or PC. I'll see what happens. And it says November fifteenth, so that means two, which means a little under two weeks from now, basically. So ba basically announced the release date 
two weeks prior to its actual release. So, yeah. The game looks pretty good to me. Looks like a pretty good side scroller. To be fair, Shantae, the Shantae series itself is primarily a side scroller, so. So, yeah. Looks pretty good. I can see. I'll see, like I said, I'll see if I can get this game for either Xbox or PC. This is actually one of two Ruby games that I'm planning on playing. The other one was is that Grim Eclipse game. I'll, I'll see if I can get that game as well. Because I'm really looking forward to playing both games. And also, Volume 9 of Ruby comes out in 2023. So, that gives my hopes up high for, for the show. It's one of those web series that I, actually, that I actually like. So, yeah. And that'll be it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.